I'm Mark. This is another two minute video. In front of me on this board are all the parts that simulate a typical gas furnace. And today I'm going to show you how a typical Coleman control board operates all this. So let's turn on the thermostat, make it call for heat. The first to come on is the booster assembly, and what it does is it sends air to the burner. When it's on, it trips this pressure switch, and when the board reads all this, it's going to turn on the igniter to light the gas. This per particular one is a glow type igniter, it gets really hot, and then in a few seconds you'll hear the gas valve click. The gas valve is clicked and then that light indicates our burner. And that means the burner is running. Now in a typical furnace, when that burner runs, this flame sensor here has got to sense that flame. If it does not sense the flame, it's going to shut down the furnace. And since we don't have any gas or flame here, we have installed a uh, special circuit board that acts the same as a flame sensor. And you can buy this circuit board at AberdeenHomeRepair.com. Now there's a time delay as the furnace heats up and in a few moments the blower motor will come on. The blower motor does come on a delay so it right away is not kicking cold air into the house. And our board has told the motor to come on. And this will continue to run until your house is warmed up to the degree set on your thermostat. Once your house is set up, the thermostat shuts off. Right away, the gas is shut off. And the blower will continue to run to finish sending any built up heat back into the house. Obviously you don't need the booster motor anymore, so it shuts off. And that's how a typical furnace runs.